Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On Call Compliance Solutions, and I'm back with another compliance tip of the week. Today we're talking about NIST SP800-171 Control 3.1.16, authorized wireless access prior to allowing such connections. Some of you might be rolling your eyes and kind of saying like, duh, but hey, you know what? That's what compliance is for, to tell us the obvious things that we should be doing anyway. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it is important though, and so if I was to give a sample answer, I'd say, hey, look, this is implemented via WPA2 wireless encryption with password required within the secure network. There's no open wireless network or unauthorized access possible in the environment. So in other words, no open guest wireless network. Everything's got appropriate levels of encryption. The encryption's up to a FIPS 140-2 standard. WPA2 meets that. Uh, and again, there's no sort of unauthorized wireless access that's really possible. Now, why is this, why is this applicable? Well, you know, as it turns out, it used to be a very common practice. It used to even be considered a courtesy for people to have a guest network, uh, even a guest network for their employees to, you know, use their personal devices and things like that. Look, if you've got CUI in your environment, not allowed. So uh, again, we, we must authorize wireless access prior to allowing such connections anytime CUI is involved. So hey, if you're looking for more common sense tips and help with getting DFARS, NIST SP800171, or CMMC compliant, uh, excuse me, or, or, or preparing for CMMC on your own, and looking for help, our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit NIST800171compliance.com or check out the bio below for links to make life easy. There you can find more information about how we can help self-schedule time of your convenience with one of our compliance experts through any form on the website, or even learn more about our completely done for you services that can have you on your way to being compliant in just two to three days. Never a long-term contract, it's super easy. We just come in, knock it right out for you, and we make life easy. Hey, if you love the content we're putting out there for you, help us out with a big thumbs up on that like button, or even better, smash the subscribe button to get the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. They love doing it for you. It's a great way to stay prepared for that upcoming CMMC certification everybody's gonna have to eventually get through. And until next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there. Hit us in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance, and I'll see you on the next one.